this video I'm showing you how I make my bracelets adjustable. So we're starting with a little friendship bracelet that's been made. It's about 16 centimeters braided in the middle. Then we've got a knot on each end of the braided section and then about 10 centimeters of loose threads on each end. And this is the part where the threads overlap and we're going to place our little square sliding knot so that we can adjust our bracelet. For our sliding knot, we're using about 40 centimeters of thread. And then we lay our bracelet down with the cords overlapping. And we wanna leave a little bit of a gap in between the two knots here. That's where we're going to place our sliding knot. Now to start with, we place our thread underneath this section where the cords overlap, pulling that thread to the middle. Now we bring the left side cord around over the top, just leaving a little loop there. And now the right side cord comes down over this cord and then underneath, bringing it up that loop on the left hand side. Pulling that nice and tight into that section between the two knots. So with square knots, we alternate each stitch. So this next stitch, we start with the right side cord, bringing that around over the other cords, leaving a little loop there. Then the left side cord comes down over and then underneath to come up that loop on the right hand side. Pulling that stitch nice and tight. And then it's back to the left side stitch. So left side cord around and over and the right side cord down, under and then up that loop on the left hand side. And now back to the right side stitch. Right side cord comes around, left side cord goes down and underneath to come up that loop on the right hand side. Now it's up to you how many stitches you do on your square knot. Just continue alternating those stitches left and right and you'll have a nice flat square knot. So you can see this is four stitches here. I usually do about 10 stitches in total, but it's totally up to you how long you want your little slider to be. Now, if you're ever wondering which stitch you're up to, you can see on the last stitch you did, there's a little part of the stitch going vertical. So in this one here, it's on the left side. That means we're onto the left side stitch. And now this next stitch, you can see that little vertical part is on the right hand side. That means we're up to the right side stitch. Once you're happy with the size of your slider, you want to pull all your cords out tight, making sure there's no slack or loose ends in any of them. And then we just tie a simple overhand knot at the end of each bunch of threads. Trying to pull those knots out so they're sitting nice and even on your threads. Now with these remaining two threads from our square knot, we need to secure them somehow. I use Hypo Cement Jewelry Glue with the precision tip and just place some around that last stitch on both sides. Being really careful not to put too much or you might glue your sliding knot onto your threads. Super important that you leave that sliding knot available to slide along the threads. Then I just cut those two tails off and gently tap on them to fuse them in with the glue. Leaving it a few hours for that glue to dry before using our bracelet.